this is Atro, and today we are going to be looking at the final three rooms of the Hearthfire uh, DLC. We are going to be uh, looking at the library, the storage room, and then the uh, greenhouse. So first up, uh, we're going to hop right into it and look at the library. This is a two-story tower, so we'll go look up at the top story. This really doesn't have much storage in itself, um, but if you are the kind of person that goes throughout Skyrim and collects every book you pick up and uh, just wants to have a place to stick it, this is going to be a good place. Um, there's only three shelves here, but as you can see, this one's pretty large, and we can go upstairs and look at the uh, upper floor. There is a tower that goes all the way up and kind of like a balcony area. So we do have a chest here, and then we have this two double book uh, shelf area these two and then these two over here so you've got a lot of shelf storage it'll be hard to fill all that up but I'm sure if you do it'll look pretty sweet next up we're going to look at the uh, storage room which is just kinda similar to the armory less uh, uh, area to shelf your stuff but um, if you wanna go ahead and look around you basically just have a ton of chests we have a safe here, some display cases with uh, satchels in them, uh, but other than that there's really like everywhere you look there's a chest, so uh, that's really all the storage room is, it's nothing too exciting, but if you do like to organize your stuff and not just shove everything in a couple chests like I do, then this is probably going to be what you want alongside the armory, uh, or you can pick one or the other, really just um, what you want to do. But that is the uh, storage room, and uh, now the greenhouse. This is actually one I'm really excited about because I find it extremely cool. Now it is kind of cramped in here and there's mushrooms growing on the floor, but if you see these uh, soil areas, um, you can actually, what you can do, here I'll show you guys, if you activate the soil um, and you have some sort of plant uh, or ground ingredient, uh, you can actually put one of these into the soil and after a certain period of time, it will grow, and as you can see, uh, oh, there is a bee in here. Didn't even know that would happen. But anyway, um, as you can see, I did plant mushrooms earlier, and I have grown a ton. So it's actually pretty cool because when you harvest, uh, you get five, and it says five two up there because I have a perk that lets me get two um, uh, ingredients per picking. But that's just a text glitch. You don't get ten; you only get five. But it's still pretty cool because these do regrow eventually and uh, you can always drop by and pick up, you know, your daily 20 glowing mushrooms or whatever you choose to put in here. I know blue mountain flowers are used in very expensive potions, so that might be a good thing to grow. Uh, so yeah, you can really go crazy with this. This is actually one of the more practical things that you can do with the house. But uh, it's really cool. Um, I, re I really, really like this room. I'm probably going to keep that one around. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, I'm actually going to run upstairs and show you one more look at the library. I think I went through it a bit fast. But as you can see, this is the first floor. And if we run upstairs, we can see the second floor. And then I'm actually going to go up on the balcony here. <coughs> so yeah, this is uh, the conclusion to all three of, or all nine I should say, of the rooms for uh, her Hearthfire. Uh, I haven't done the main room furnished yet. Um, I'm going to be doing the entrance hall, the main room, and the cellar next. And after that we can move into things like uh, the moving in with your spouse, the dialogue options when it comes to adoption, and the stewards and transportation options. Crazy stuff like that because that's really the cool stuff in this DLC. House stuff is cool and it's nice to customize it all, but once you've got that done, the actual options that you can do is uh, quite cool. So up here you can see this is a tower-like uh, um, building structure uh, wing. So that's pretty much it, guys. A uh, quick four-minute video. These aren't very long, but just showing you around. And uh, so yeah, um, if you want to see the cellar, entrance hall, main hall room, make sure to subscribe or stick around and check back for you frequently because I'm putting these videos up as fast as possible, about two, one, two a day. So uh, thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.